Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Concept Clear. In today's class, we will discuss about Blowfish algorithm in the subject of cryptography network security. What is Blowfish algorithm? Blowfish algorithm is replacement of IDEA algorithm and DES algorithm. Okay, the first one is it is. It is symmetric key algorithm. Symmetric key algorithm and it is block cipher algorithm. Block cipher algorithm. We know what is symmetric key, what is block cipher. For every topic I am explaining. Okay. Next. Blowfish is replacement of okay. What is the drawbacks in IDS algorithm and IDEA algorithm? That are, those problems are overcome in Blowfish algorithm. Okay, this is the replacement of these two algorithms. Okay, clear. Next, Blowfish follows feastal structure. Blowfish follows feastal structure. I I already explained what is the feastal structure. In previous topics, feastal structure. It is a follows the feastal structure. What is the feastal structure? That plain text will be divided into number of parts, left side part and right side part. After performing operations, both will be swapped. Okay, that is the feastal structure. Okay, clear. Next, the input plain text is sixty-four bits and Key size is here. Yeah, there is no fixed key size. It is the variable length. It is the variable length. That means thirty to two four forty eight bits according to according to your requirement. You can consider thirty to two four forty eight variable size. Okay. And default size is default key size. If you are not taking any key size, means Default key size is 128 bits. Okay, it is the 128 bit is the default size. And number of rounds, number of rounds are 16. Here, 16 rounds operation will be performed. And what is the advantages? The advantages means it is very fast. Take less memory. And it is more secure. Why? Because if if the attacker knows he used Blowfish algorithm, even though he can't access, he can't decode our messages. Why? Because he can't know what is the key size. Key size is variable. It is the advantage. Okay. Your message is hacked by hackers also. You know you are using Blowfish algorithm. Even though you can't able to decode your message. Why? Because the size is don't know. Okay. We are using from 32 to 448 bits. So, he can't guess the exact size of the key. Okay. Clear. Here, Blowfish algorithm contains two parts. Okay. What is the two parts means? The first one is encryption. Sorry. First one is key generation and second one is data encryption data encryption we will see one by one what is the data uh, key generation and the data encryption okay next first we will see what is the first one is key generation what is meaning of key generation key generation is nothing but what key has to generate to perform the encryption algorithm it follows some steps here the step one is what is the step one key are stored in array first the key is stored in array okay what is the keys we have k1 k2 and up to kn up to kn here one key equals to 32 bits one key equals to 32 bits. Don't confuse here. One key equals to 32 bits. So, what is the K1 equals to? 
32 bits. So range is what? Range is 32 to 448 bits. 32 to 448 bits. If you divide it 32 means, so the length of the each block is 32 bits. So 32 into 14, 32 into 14, then we will get the 448 bits. Okay. We can take between the range of 32 to 448 bits. This is the first step. Okay. Step 1. What is the second step? In second step, the original message is divided into subparts. Okay. Totally 18 subparts will be divided. Okay. Here, original message, sorry, original key divided into 18 subparts like P1, P2, P3 up to P18. Okay. Original key divided, divided in as 18 sub keys. Okay. Keys. At the same time, along with the key, okay, in third step, the original message, original key is divided into 18 subparts, 18 subparts or 18 words, okay. Along with the key, there is a S box, a substitution box is also divided, okay, in third step, along with the keys, S boxes also divided as four boxes okay what is the s1 bar s1 s2 s3 s4 boxes will be divided what is the range here s0 to s1 up to 255 range so x box value is what x box value is 256 x boxes okay keys it is also divided into different x boxes here along with the so, along with the keys X box is also divided into several sub keys, sub, sub boxes. Next, what is the fourth step? Initialize each element of the P, R, A, and S boxes with hexadecimal. Okay, you have to initialize P, R, A, and X boxes with hexadecimal values. Hexadecimal values that nothing but we have to perform XOR operation nothing but we have to perform XOR operation between P and K P1 and K okay example you have to perform the XOR operation between okay how many XOR operations how many times totally 18 times we have to perform okay next what is the next step in next step we have to perform XOR operation. Step 5, we we'll perform the XOR operation. P1 equals to P1 XOR K1. P1 XOR K1. Here, you are performing P1 with XOR operation K1. Again, you will perform a new P1. It is the new P1. Like that, we have to perform P2 with P2 XOR of K2. Okay, like this, we have to perform totally P14 equals to P14 XOR of K14. Here, we seen that how many, if you divide it, 448 by 32, we will get the 14. So, what is the keys? We will get the keys are the only 14 keys. So, the key values are what? The key values are, the key values are, 1, 2, 3, up to K14. So, but how many rounds, how many P's we have? Here the P's are divided into P18. Keys are the K14. Here P's are the divided into 18. Keys are the 14. But here for performing XOR operation, here P1 up to P14, all the keys are completed. Then what happened? Then we have to use again from K1, P15 equals to P15 XOR operation K1. Like that we have to perform up to P18 equals to P18 XOR operation with P K4. Okay, these are the bits will be repeated. And after 6th step and 6th step is after XOR operation we need to take 64 bit plain text.
we need to take 64 bit plain text initially all bits are 0 initially all bits are 0 sub key is generated okay that is the first part and second part is what the second part is data encryption data encryption we will see one block diagram for data encryption how it will be encrypted the data okay here what is the plain text the plain text size is 64 bits the plain text size is 64 bits the plain text is divided into two parts left side p equals to 18 it is the left part and over this is the right part this is the right side part left side part and right side part here 64 bits will be divided into 32 bits is also 32 bits here the left side part we have to perform xor operation with first p1 here like this and here we are taking x function xor function with what is the function function f and here we are taking 32 bits right again we are performing xor operation that will be generated this side and here we are performing left side xor operation function and right side xor operation function after these two these two results will be swap left side to right side left right side to left side again here we are getting xor operation with what p2 and here also to function f and same diagram will be repeated up to same diagram will be repeated up to 18 times up to p18 after p18 this left side part and right side part after 18 times up to p18 rounds up to 18 rounds same operation will be repeated after 18 rounds here left side part and right side part will be added to generate cipher text message to generate the cipher text is generated what is the size of cipher text is also 64 bits why because the plain text is 64 bits the cipher text also 64 bits okay clear this is about the data encryption it is the data encryption all the long and and what is the function operation will be performed inside the function operation actually what will be happened we will see here in function operation we will see the what is the function operation the function operation the function is divided into four parts okay the function operation is divided into four s boxes function is divided as four s boxes okay each s box contains eight bits each s box contains eight bits so here 32 bit is divided into four into eight that means 32 bits okay 4 into bit 8 32 bits okay here it is divided into four parts 1 2 3 4 okay here the first one is 8 bits second one also 8 bits 8 bits 4 bits okay and the first one is the s box 1 s box 2 S box 3, S box 4. Okay, here what is the function operation? Here in this uh, data encryption time, what is the operation will be performed in this function block? We are seeing here. Here in the function operation, here in the first X box will be performed XR operation with S box 2. These two will be performed XR operation. The result of these two, the output of these two will perform again XOR operation with Xbox 3 and this output is again performed XOR operation with Xbox 4. This is the 32 bit of particular function, the 32 bit output function. The first two 32 bits is divided into four parts we need to this first two 32 bits will be divided into four parts we need to perform xor operation with xbox one with xbox two and output will go to again xor operation with xbox three 
after xbox 4 we will get 32 bit output by okay uh, that means y is the output of function f similarly this operation will be similarly this operation will be repeated up to up to 18 rounds up to 18 rounds okay and after 18 rounds what is the data we are getting what is the data we are adding from left side to side and right side data is called cipher text okay clear this is about the blockfish algorithm these are different algorithm by comparing this algorithm this algorithm and id algorithm here the key size is 32 bits to 448 bits that is the variable size even in if you are using the blowfish algorithm the attacker can't guess the attacker can't encrypt your data as virtual message why because the key is the variable size even he knows that you are using blowfish algorithm also he can't decode our data so it is the more secure it is providing the more secure okay so thank you everyone if you have any doubts in ask me in comment section also subscribe our youtube channel many people are watching our videos without subscribing without subscription okay please subscribe our youtube channel thank you everyone na channel per gurtundi ga please like share and subscribe